Welcome back everyone. This time we're going to talk about TEC reliability. Now this will be a short video, not too much to say about it. Um, so, TEC reliability. Uh, reliability. <laughs> be nice if we could actually say it. Um, I'm not very reliable, obviously. Okay, so, enough faffing about. So let's talk about what happens if you have a TEC and you accidentally crack it. Now this happens quite a lot. It's pretty easy, especially to break a corner off. But it's also easy to crack it if you are clamping it between two surfaces that are not perfectly flat. That will apply too much pressure potentially along here and here, which could cause it to crack. Or whatever. Now, it actually doesn't really matter if it breaks. What matters is as long as the electrical connections, which is what this mess is inside of a TEC, holds together. Now this is soldered together in a line like this, and then it goes across at the top and back down again. I know it's hard to see. And then like this, zigzagging across. So as long as the electrical connections are not broken, then having a crack doesn't really matter, especially if you can fill that with waterproof uh, thermal paste like MX2 or something like that. What matters is if the electrical, electrical connections get broken, and that shouldn't be easy at all because it's quite, it's just metal, you can bend metal. So since TECs are just one massive bunch of soldered joints, electrical wires, they, will, they being the um, manufacturers, will say that TECs have an extremely good reliability and that they last for hundreds of thousands of hours. And that would seem to be true based on the fact that it's just a whole bunch of soldered together joints. How hard can that be? How, however, the reality has actually been that they're actually not re very reliable at all. In my experience, you get what you pay for. If you buy cheap TECs, they don't last. If you buy expensive ones, they last. The, the high quality TECs that I've bought, I've never had a failure. The low quality ones, I've had an extremely high reliability failure. I bought 12 from off the internet and all but one failed. Now they didn't fail straight away. Some of them some of them actually did. Some of them I got them and they didn't work. Others worked for a month, some worked for a year before failing. Now since TECs are a bunch of soldered together joints, you can repair TECs, or at least in theory you can. Generally what happens is that one of the connections is lost, like here. Then the whole thing fails. So you can take a TEC that stopped working and put it in the oven and heat it up. And I've actually tried this and it does actually work. Uh, it unfortunately lasted a few more months and then stopped again. What I would do next time is that I would actually apply a very large piece of steel over the TEC to apply downwards pressure when I put it into the uh, oven. And obviously you need to remove any of the sealant that you can. And then pop it in the oven as hot as you can and leave it for a few hours. And you may find that it will resolder the joint and you're away laughing again. Now in the unlikely event that you do lose power to your TEC, it's not the complete end of the world. Because the TEC is a bunch of soldered together metals, a TEC will still conduct heat even if it, one of the soldering joints is broken, or if it's completely lost power, it will still continue to conduct power. Ah, oh, sorry, conduct uh, heat. Obviously it's not going to conduct heat very well, but if you're talking about in a computer, uh, it it won't explode. 
And the other thing to remember is that in this day and age, your CPU will be thermal limited, so it will start going slower and slower. If it is overclocked, it might might crash, but it's not actually going well. Not not it shouldn't cause any kind of significant long-term damage if your TC loses power. And certainly at one point, I was not even powering my TCs. Like I could run. I could probably make this video right now without actually having the TEC on. It'll, it conducts enough heat at idle, where the PC, you know, PC's idle, to ensure that the CPU didn't get too hot and explode, which won't happen, but whatever. It sounds more exciting to say explode. So that's a short video on TEC reliability. Uh, in theory, they are extremely reliable, and if you pay for a good one you'll have great reliability if you don't then what can i say all right guys i shall see you in the next one see you later bye bye